Are you putting this on YouTube? I might. Hi, YouTube! Hello and thank you for uh, returning to Gig Life. My name is Steven Espanola. The first two have gone great so far, so thank you so much for, for sticking with me and uh, wanting to learn more about music. I thought I'd do something a little bit different for this third episode. Uh, this beautiful instrument in front of me is, is the uh, Kanilea ukulele. And um, I thought it'd be uh, a nice uh, change of pace to, uh, to do an instrument review. <clears throat> and so I've had this this uh, beautiful Kanilea since uh, 2006. Well, let me go a little further back. I first met Joe and Kristen, uh, who are the proprietors of Kanilea Ukulele in, uh, in about 2005, 2004 maybe. Uh, online, uh, I reached out to them and uh, told them I was, I was looking to uh, partner with an ukulele company. And much like myself, I was an up-and-coming ukulele artist at the time. They were a lot smaller than they are now. They were um, uh, uh, a small shop uh, there in Kaniohe uh, on the island of Oahu. So I reached out to them and they were willing to work with me in, uh, to build my dream instrument basically. So I, uh, <clears throat> I put together a list of uh, some of the uh, things I was looking for in an ukulele. Uh, basically a wish list of, of things I, I would want to see in an ukulele. And not not expecting that I would get any of it, and um, about a year later, I was releasing my debut album Ho'omaka. Uh, I'll put that in the link below so you can buy it in iTunes and Amazon. <laughs> but anyway, uh, about a year, year later, I did a promo tour in Hawaii on the island of Oahu. <clears throat> I did a promo uh, tour to uh, support my uh, my uh, my first release and. They came to one of my uh, in-store uh, performances at Borders and presented me with this gorgeous instrument. So this is the Super Tenor. This is the... When they presented me with this, I was just blown away. They opened up the case and I was like, oh my, oh my goodness, I've never seen anything, an instrument so beautiful as this. Um, but as you can see, this is the Super Tenor size and which means it has a wider lower bout section here and standard size tenor size uh, top section here and um, it's made with a premium curly koa and interesting story about the this this ko the koa that was used to make this uh, ukulele uh, joe used to work for the honolulu fire department and he got a call one time that a koa tree had fallen on someone's house. I think but it might have been a friend of his who, who gave the call. <laughs> and so he said, you know, you can have the wood if you come and get this tree off my house, off my roof. <laughs> so Joe uh, ran over there. Um, I don't know how he did it, but he got the, managed to get the tree off the roof, saved that piece of wood for years and years and years. And um, uh, finally used it to uh, you know, you finally used it to make this beautiful instrument. It's um, if you notice the the koa on this is a little blonder than the typical reddish koa that you would see uh, typically from the island of uh, Hawaii, Hawaii Island. Um, so if you can see the the uh, the uh, the color is a little blonder, a little lighter, and that's uh, typical of koa that is grown on Oahu. So. Um, you rarely see this kind of this kind of koa since since koa not only is rare in general, but it's rare particularly on the island of Oahu. Um, and along the sides, this is a kolohala wood. Kolohala, which is another indigenous um, wood to Hawaii. And then right here we see the um, the abalone inlay around the sound hole and along the outside. And then we have the the ebony bridge and the ebony fingerboard you can see that there 
And we also have this is the original Kanilea um, branding at the top on the headstock there. I don't know if you can see that. As well as the the original Kanilea shape of the headstock. And the slotted headstock too, which means it looks typical of a classical guitar uh, headstock. <laughs> we have the Grover tuners, the original Grover tuners. Now, since they've made this, they've actually, the technology, they've, they're, they've been able to pretty much cut this headstock area down into, I would say, maybe half if not a third of this width or this thickness here. So the modern day Kanilea ukuleles are, are, have a much sleeker uh, profile on the headstock. Uh, I think the body shape is, is primarily the same on the modern uh, Kanilea ukuleles. Um, and then we also have, I don't know if you can see the, see that original blue label on the inside? Right in there, I don't know if it's focusing or not. Um, but you see the Kanilea, Kanilea ukulele handcrafted in Heia, uh, Oahu, Hawaii. Joseph N. Souza III. And it has a serial number in the inside too. And this instrument, um, at the time they built this instrument, uh, I should say also a um, huge mahalo nui to uh, Brother Bill Griffin who had a huge hand. Uh, he used to uh, also work at Kanilea Ukulele and had a hand in, in building the custom instruments, which is what this is. This is a custom Kanilea Ukulele Super Tenor. And um, he had a hand in building this particular uh, beautiful instrument. And at the time they started making these they didn't really have a specific ukulele pickup. So what they did was they worked with the, um, the company uh, LR Bags, who I'm also connected with, and they had LR Bags modify a version of their element pickup system, uh, which is what's in this uh, ukulele here. And that's what you see here. You see the, the element is on the inside, underneath the, uh, the saddle here. And then we have a control mechanism here, which is the uh, it's the um, dual concentric pot system, which has the volume on the bottom and the tone on the top, and you just adjust it that way. And if you can see that's a little blingy, but uh, I like it. Matches the, uh, the tuners up here. And um, what else? What else can I tell you about this? So they so they had uh, LR Bags design a custom pickup for this. And um, recently, so about 10 years later, I had an opportunity to, to let the folks at LR Bags, uh, one of the engineers um, who designed the pickup, hear this ukulele plugged in and he was just blown away. He couldn't believe that he had built something that sounded so, so beautiful. Since then, LR Bags has put out um, some wonderful ukulele pickups, primarily, um, uh, notably the the uh, 5 -0 system. They have a 5 -0 system which is uh, specifically designed and tuned for ukulele. So they have that now. But at the time of the building of this beautiful instrument, they did not have a uh, pickup uh, specifically for ukulele. Uh, so in the back here, you can see it's a little curved here. There's a little curved surface here. Uh, if you can see that. And the gloss and the sheen that you see on this is. Um, also a technology that uh, is specific to Kanilea or unique to Kanilea I should say and the way they uh, it's a UV coating here and they worked closely with Taylor guitars over in Southern California to um, to come up with a finish that is so beautiful uh, a finish that rivals some of the, the beautiful Taylor guitars that are built in Southern California so enough of me gabbing, I'm going to uh, play a little something on this beautiful instrument and let me know what you think. Um, also, let me um, go ahead and subscribe in the right there, down below there. Tell your friends about this, uh, this channel. Um, keep returning, visiting. I plan to upload content every week. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up because those do help. And uh, please subscribe so you can be notified when I upload more videos like this and until then, aloha.